Now, today's presentation is definitely going to look at Cuba from an African perspective, an African-American perspective. Cuba has such a strong, such a profound African heritage, and it manifests itself in many different ways, in the dance, in the food, and the religion, but also the history itself, and obviously the people. When we talk about the African presence, we never want to start with enslavement. So I never start there. But in this case, I'm making a point, and that is, even if we're going to talk about enslavement, which we must, I want to talk about resistance to enslavement. I don't want to minimize the suffering of my ancestors. Cuba has maybe the most, in my opinion, the most impressive or inspiring uh, monument to the spirit of those that fought against enslavement or perhaps any country in the Western Hemisphere, maybe any country in the world. The first, and I salute them for that. In 1843, a, uh, a rebellion was planned and it was actually led by, or the major figure involved was an African woman known to history as Carlotta Lukumi. In the 1970s, I think 74, 75, Cuba sent a bunch of soldiers, freedom fighters, a military contingent to Central Africa. And they played, these soldiers played a very important role in the independence of those Southern African countries. And so Cuba, Cuba under Fidel, sent tens of thousands of soldiers there. All right, I knew that. What I didn't know until I got to this plantation is that the operation was called Operation Carlotta. <laughs> After Carlotta Lucas, I was so moved by that. That was a big deal to me because it showed the historical recognition and it showed the sensitivity that Fidel Castro had. I will never, hey, I'll never forget that. When I leave the United States, depending on where I go, but most places, I don't feel the the apprehension and the anxiety that a black man feels in the United States. You know, it's like a lot of stress is just lifted off me the moment I get on a plane and go somewhere else. And in Cuba, every time I've been there, I always felt safe. I mean, Cuba is just a, a treasure trove of artists and artworks. I think Cuba is a wonderful place to visit. I mean, a wonderful place, friendly people, you're gonna learn so much. Well, a lot of Cuba is just really pretty. And not just the beaches, not just the, the waterfront, the ocean, but the interior as well. It's a beautiful island. So if you have a chance to go to Cuba, it's a wonderful travel destination. If you go, you're not gonna regret it. If you go, you're gonna wanna go again. Um, I salute the people of Cuba. And uh, if you have the opportunity to go there, don't ignore it.